Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech, and today we are going to be installing the desktop version of Minecraft on Raspberry Pi. And we all know that Minecraft does come with Raspberry Pi already, but that's the Pocket Edition, which is not as full featured as the desktop version. Now, I apologize for the mic if it does sound a little choppy or something like that, because my desktop mic actually just recently broke, so I'm using the webcam's mic. Just in case you guys can't get to the end of the video, be sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed, and hit that little subscribe button. So let's get started. Now, I recommend you pulling up my website, the blog, and everything as far as how to install Raspberry Pi because we're going to be doing a lot of copy and pasting commands over to a terminal shell. And again, don't be afraid of the terminal. It won't bite. It's very easy. Uh, the first thing we're going to have to do is make sure that everything is updated. Now, before making this video, and always, my Pi is already updated, so I'm not going to be running this command. Scroll down to, uh, a little bit. We're going to have to enable more video memory for our Raspberry Pi. So. I'm going to go over to Preferences, Raspberry Pi Config, and then be sure when you go over to Performance, you have 64 megs of RAM or more. I'm using 128. Now, if you use my little RAM trick, which is compressed RAM, I do have another basically gig of RAM on my swap. Going down a little bit, um, these are all the stuff you do need just to make sure that you could get the GL, um, OpenGL drivers. Now. It usually comes pre-installed with the Raspberry Pi, uh, but just to be sure, you could copy and paste this command and it'll say if it's the newest version, it's gonna skip right over it. If it's not, it'll update it automatically. Now to enable the GLX drivers, the we have to do this through the command, which is sudo raspi config. And in here, we're gonna have advanced options, GL drivers, and it will ask you to enable. For me, I already enabled. Now, use G2. I'm having a little issues with G1, and that basically is the OpenGL desktop driver with full KMS. We don't need the full KMS for the desktop. All we need to do is just enable the desktop drivers, and it's fine. Now, I'm going to cancel this because I don't need to reboot. I already enabled all the settings. And um, next step is to test out GLX gears. Now this is a VNC session, so I might not be able to get this as fast as possible, but it should actually read out 60 frames per second. If you have 110 or like 12 or something like that, then your GLX is not enabled. It should be able, it should lock it around 60 frames. Next up, now that if everything is working, you just scroll on down and download Minecraft. Now this little command is basically going to create the folder for your Minecraft and download the application itself. So I'm just going to paste this and hit enter. Now it's going to move me over to a folder, Minecraft, and if I ls, you're going to see Minecraft and the native folders is already pre-made. Uh, pre Next up is to actually log into Minecraft. Now we have to do this because we have to download the client, like all the libraries and all that stuff beforehand before we can move on to getting the Pi ready to play Minecraft. All right, once it's logged in, uh, I already have a lot of these pre-installed, but it's gonna make you log in. And you select your profile, if it's not already selected, go to edit profile and change this down to the release 1.89. Now, I know this is an older version, and now it's up to 1.11.2 or something like that, but it's fine. What I'm going to be showing you how to move from a previous version to a later version. The reason why I'm doing it to download 1.8.9 is in the future, say you're watching this video maybe six months from now or a year from now, and it's got 1.12 following this tutorial wouldn't make any sense, but what I'm going to be doing is showing you how to get to the latest release. So let's start off with 1.8.9 and then you hit play. What it's going to do is download all the files that you need and it's going to error out. It's not going to work, but we just need it to download all the files that you need. Now next up, once this is done, what you want to do is download the drivers that you need. So these copy some libraries, uh, the OpenAL and all that stuff just so you could use those drivers on the desktop version of Raspberry Pi. Once that is done, you're gonna update the next file. You just need to copy and paste this. And it 
will download open, what is it, uh, LWJGL, it's like a Java GL version thing. And once that is done, it, you need to download this little script. Now, I again, I didn't create this, and on the top of this blog, I have all the credits going to whoever um, deserves it. Now, once you paste this, it's going to move you back to the Minecraft folder, and when you hit LS, you're going to have this new thing called run.sh. So that will actually create a script. Uh, well, that's a script to actually boot up your Minecraft session. So in here, what we're going to do is nano run.sh. Okay. Here we have to edit a couple of things, which is your login, username, and password. Once you're done with that, you save, exit, and then basically you run .sh. So there we have it, the desktop version of our Raspberry Pi. Now moving forward, I already actually have a world. So right now I'm using the default client to run this Raspberry Pi and I'm holding a camera so it looks weird but uh, what's going on is that with the default version um, it runs around 25 to 30 frames per second which is great but there's also a few tweaks that you could do to make it run even faster. So here the one thing you got to make sure of is that if you take a look at um, broad, uh, where it says Broadcom you gotta see that that says Broadcom and not VMware um, graphic drivers. Then you know that it's actually running on um, OpenGL. If it's running at like five frames or four frames, then you, you know you missed a step and it didn't really work. But here is uh, basically Minecraft, it's running at night. Um, and it's pretty smooth at this frame rate, uh, 20 something frames. But you could, all, like I said, you could run this uh, plugin that actually allows you to modify the graphics even more and disable this and disable that. And I was able to, to actually get up to like about 40 frames per second. All right, now we're gonna get out of this. And like I was saying before, I'm gonna get you guys to the latest version. So to do that, basically, you have to go into Minecraft again. All right. And then now we have to select the latest version. So it's gonna be 1.1.2. So remember that number because you're gonna to have to modify the run file to correlate with that number. So here we go to edit profile and just basically move it up to 1.1.2. Save profile and then hit play. Now it's gonna download all the stuff for 1.1.2. Now it's gonna crash out again, it's not gonna work we have to make the run file. So let's get out of this now, close it, and we will do nano run.sh. The first thing you need to do is actually change this version. You don't need the subversion, but just the version itself. So one, here is 1.8, change it to 1.11. Now, if you're using nano or another text editor, all you have to do is just find and replace. So on nano, I'm using Control W to search for 1.8.9. That's what the version we downloaded before. And I'm basically gonna switch this over to 1.11.2. Same thing over here, 1.11, oops, 1.1.2. And then when you're done, just hit save. Run.sh. And there we have it loading the latest version of Minecraft. If you guys have any questions, leave it in the comments below. If you guys have any other games that you wanna see me try to play, whether it's x86 or something like that, I will try to find the resources to get it happening. Uh, now, like I was saying earlier, I will have a separate tutorial. If you follow this tutorial and you are able to get Minecraft running, um, you're going to be able to follow my next tutorial, which is to get something called Optifine. Now, Optifine is a plugin for Minecraft for ARM-based devices where you can actually have 
select almost every single option, clouds, weather, everything, to disable or whatever to speed up the process of the game. It will actually get you to around 35 to 40 frames on a Raspberry Pi 3, which is great. It's actually very playable. So um, be sure to check my blog. I'll leave all the links in the description below because all the commands are too long. And again, if you guys have any games you want to see happen or see any games work on the Raspberry Pi or lower end devices, hit me up in the comments below and I'll try to make it happen. And as I say in my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.